Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve invert binary tree problem. So in this problem, we are given a root of a binary tree and we have to invert the binary tree and then we have to return this root. So what is this invert means that if you see this binary tree, so this is root and the root is same. Now the root left child, the root left child becomes root right child and root right child becomes root left child. And here uh, it's happen for all nodes. Well, for every node, its left child become its right child. So you can see that for right is seven. Here its left is seven. Seven right is six. Here its right is six. Okay. So this is how what invert binary tree means. So now let's understand how we can solve this problem. We can solve it in both the recursive or iterative way. So first of all, let's understand the recurs uh, iterative way, and then we will see the recursive way. So let's understand how we can solve it in iterative way. So in iterative way, we are going to use DFS approach. So we will take one stack and in our stack, first of all, we push this root of a binary tree and then we will iterate over this binary tree. So now let's see how we can traverse the binary tree. So simply we will pop this four and this four and we push its left and right into our stack. So I will push its left is two and right is seven. Now. Um, what I will do after pushing this, I will make, I will swap them. I will swap them. How to swap? I will make my root right, root right to root left. So you can say I will, right now root right is seven. I will make my root right like this and like this. For this, I can simply do a swap function. Swap root right, root left. So this basically swap my reference and then what we will do after this, I will pop my top element again and this is gone. This is gone. Then for seven, first of all, I will push its left and right. I will push its left and right. After pushing left and right, I will swap. I will once I swap, what will happen? This seven will be seven will be nine and this will be six. This will be Six. And now what I will do, I will push this, uh, pop this nine and from nine, I will see its left is null, its right is null. Then I will put null and null here. And after that, I will, I will swap them and null and null is same, uh, null and null is same thing. So I do not have to do anything. So I will push, pop this two and uh, my nine is right now like this. Now what I will do, I will pop my six. So from here, I will pop this six, and now uh, it is also both of them is null. So it will remain same. Now what I have to do, I will again, I will now pop this two. I will pop this two. So if I pop this two, so what I will have, I will have my node as one and three. So I will push one here and three here. So now I will swap them. If I swap them, so now my left will be right now my left is one i will make it three and then make it one and after that what i have to do is i have to uh, this two is done then i will pop this three and do the same for three and pop this one and do the same for this so once i do for it one so my stack is empty now i can return my uh, binary tree and what my binary tree is look like um, four is here and four is pointing to this so my binary tree will be look like this and you can see that it is invert of in invert binary tree. So let's see the code. So here we are using stack to traverse our binary tree. And first of all, we push our root root into our stack and then we will traverse uh, in our binary tree. So how we are traversing? First of all, we pop this our current top element and then check is it null or not? If it is not null, then we will push is left is right into our stack and then we will swap both of them. How to swap this? We can do using temp variable also. So we will swap right and left and after doing this traversing, uh, we will simply return our root. So this is very simple uh, invert binary tree problem and what will the time complexity? So the time complexity of this problem will be O of n and the space complexity of this problem will be also O of n for using this stack. Now let's understand 
a easy method which will be our recursive method so in recursive method we are going to use our stop down approach so how we will re, uh, invert this binary tree what we will say from this root what i can say i will say i am swapping my left and right i am swapping my left and right you can after once i done this and the rest of thing can be done by my children so how it does it mean so i have my root i have my root what i will do i will swap its right to its left so now my tree will look like this and this 6 is pointing this and this is how my trace look like right now once i swap for 4 and this is 1 and this is 3 now after swapping my left right for root node what i will do i will call for its left call for its left so now the left sub tree do the same thing how it will do it will first it will first say swap these two so it will swap and now my 9 will be there and 6 will be there after swapping this it will call my left to do the same so it will swap its left and right so left and right are same so you can assume that they swap and after that it will uh, it is null if it is null then it will return so now my 9 is done so what i will do i will check its right 7 right will be 6 so it will swap it is also uh, done so and um, then once my 7 left 4 left is done so we will go to 4 right so 4 right first of all i will swap them so if i swap them it will become 3 and it will become 1 then after 2 i will call its left for left uh, both of them is null so they are swapped and for 1 also they are both of them are nulls they are swapped so this is how my invert binary tree is done so now let's check out the code so here what we are doing is if our root is null if our root is null then we return otherwise first of all we swap our right and right left sub tree and then we call the same we call our left sub tree to swap their nodes and the right sub tree to swap their node once our left sub tree is right sub tree and root is done then we will return our current root so this is the simple solution of uh, invert binary tree i hope you understand both recursive and iterative solution and the time complexity and space complexity of both solution will be o of n is time complexity and o of n is space complexity and i hope it helps you if it helps you do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching